Hey, Ace on Knives. My name's Rich, and I'm with AOK -OK Knives. Real quick, I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, but it's like kind of an update in the knife world. Uh, there's some beef going on right now between Jared Neves, Neves Knives, and Leong Ma. Yeah, uh, Leong Ma is... I, out of New York City or some Palm Bay, Florida or something. And he, I, I believe he started off making shoves, knives and stuff like that, cutlery. And now he makes a ton of folders and stuff and has a partnership with CRKT. And he has his own design group. Um, He makes he makes great knives, I guess. And he's real, he seems like he's an okay guy. But he... um. He's expensive. His knives designs are expensive. Even on CRKT, it seems like you're going to be spending 90 bucks for CRKT design and more. Because I guess he's got this one knife that looks really cool. It's the GSD. Get shit done. I like the name of that knife. Um, I'm not sure how much that costs. Maybe I'll put a link in there for it. But I'm not really sure which side I'm on. Because I'm a big Jared fan. With Neves knives, that guy's—he's uh, a pretty cool cat, and he knows a lot about knives. He's been—you know what I mean? It's kind of like you got—it's it, like—it's like a battle between the teacher and the student kind of thing. Not that Leon would probably be the teacher in this sense, but you know what I mean? He's like a teacher, and and Jared is more like a, you know a rising star. When it comes, if not already risen, star when it comes to understanding and knowing knives, uh, metallurgy, and and all that. He, you know, I, I take him as somebody I can trust when it comes to uh, a knife review. I really do. I think, uh, I don't know, you, you ever just watch somebody and you're like, this guy's, this guy's got it going on. He gets it. He knows what he's talking about. And I'm going to trust this guy. And I'm going to put some trust in him. And if that trust takes me to, to, in the direction of a couple good knives. And I'm going to keep trusting him until he lets me down. He hasn't let me down. Uh, almost all the knives I review on here. I've, wa I've watched him probably do most of them. And he's been dead on. Okay. So he does a review of... One of Leong's knives that he sends him. Now, Jared had to wait 16 weeks or something. It was outrageous. $380 knife. Um, he gets it. And the knife had zero detent. It had some other flaws here and there. This and that. that, that you know, whatever. On top of the fact that Jared's got a big following. And he's got a lot of subscribers. And he has a lot of uh, connections. And he asked Leong for a knife to review. One of his more recent products to review. And, you know, I it's Jared provided the texting and the information. And, and he put it all together pretty well. He's on top of it. And he pretty much, I think Leong dropped the ball with Jared Neves. I think he... He, he he underestimated Jared's reach and Jared's uh, maybe a little bit of power in the industry that he may have. He may not have. I don't know. This is just from, this is my take remotely from outside this circle, more or less. So I really think that uh, I feel as though hearing Jared's side of the story and seeing kind of like how unprofessional Leong was in his tweets. Um, he made some really low ball comments just because his knife didn't get reviewed well. And it, you know, and he called it a hit piece and all that. It, you, you really got to see, I think Leong's true colors, if you ask me. And I don't know the guy. I don't know him at all. I did a little research on him before I decided to talk about him right now today. This just happened last night. And I, I, I didn't find a whole lot of negativity. But what I did find was, was this guy, is a, he's a fancy knife maker. He thinks he's hot shit. And he, uh, 
and he makes expensive knives and makes people wait for him. And then he kind of like doesn't treat the the right people right. I don't think he knew to treat Jared with a little bit of respect. I'm not saying kiss his ass, Leon. I'm saying Jared in this industry deserves a little bit of respect. You know? And I think he should apologize. I think he should say the things that Jared found and pointed out about this new knife. And when I say new, it wasn't a prototype. It was an actual knife that is out for production. So, first off, me, and I'm a knife designer, and I'm a knife maker, and I'm CRKT, even. And I'm going to put a knife out there, and I'm not going to have it reviewed prior in prototype phase. I'm that cocky, Leon. I'm not going to have it reviewed. I'm not going to have it inspected. I'm not going to have it checked by some outside of your little family. You know, send it to Jared. Send it to Metal Complex. Send it to, you name it. Send it to the people that aren't, you know, Roll Shambo. Send it to those guys. Let them check it out on the DL. They're going to tell you, your detent ball sucks. Your clip sucks. You've got to enlarge it. You know, you've got to make it better. This is a $380 knife. It better be perfection or close to it. And it was way off. Like, it wasn't even close. You know, to, to meet the price perspective of that whole market, it was just nuts. It was It's crazy to me. Now, like I said, I don't know Leon. I don't know Jared. I know Jared well enough because I watch his videos a lot. And I think he's... I think he's kind of a badass. I think he's pretty good at what he does. I think he's funny. I think he's, you know, he's really, he's, he, I just think you ought to, you ought to check him out. Neves Knives, you ought to check him out. And then maybe check out Leong too, because that guy's got a whole bunch of uh, designs out there. And I believe he's spot on and gr great with every, almost everything he does. But I think he dropped the ball on this one because he kind of came at Jared with some real kind of personal shit. And uh, all Jared did was give a fair review of a, of a knife that had probably a shoddy design. You know, yeah, one slipped through the cracks, Leon. You know, you and your, your engineer group with CRKT or whoever the hell you, you, you know, that, that was all about. I don't know if that was just a Leon design or if that was part of the CRKT thing. But either way. You let one slap, you let one slip, buddy. You know? So you and then you came at you came at it all wrong. So we're out here watching, Leon. We're all of us knife guys out here are watching, and we're watching you wear your ass as a hat. You know, that's my take on it. So you can pick yourself up off of this and you can come back. And what I challenge you to do is maybe, maybe, maybe call Jared up and maybe do something live on YouTube with Jared and be semi-apologetic. And if not apologetic, explain yourself. You know what I mean? Explain yourself. Let's, 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 let's pull another one of those knives out of a box with the plastic wrap on it. And let's see if it has a D10 issue. Let's see if it still has a super tight ceramic ball clip. Let's see if it has all these... You know, little flaws that a $380 knife shouldn't have. We'll do that live, man. Or, if you watch my channel, you probably don't, but if you watch my channel, have a knife fight. Jared Neves, knife fights, Leong Ma. I don't know anything about Leong Ma, but I tell you what, Jared, I think Jared will cut him up. Yep. But that's the violent way. That's the Neanderthal way of handling things. My favorite way. But use words first. Then go to a knife fight. This is Rich with AOK -OK Knives. My take on the latest big doings in the knife world with Jared Neves and Leon Ma. Check it out. It's pretty interesting. 
it's it's the underbelly uh, right now of the knife world, and you ought to check it out. It's good stuff, and we're going to watch these guys fight it out a little bit, and who knows? Might see a knife fight. Deuces.